teen artists will be given a unique opportunity to show their talent to America and the top players in the art world. I'm your host and judge, China Chow, and this is Work of Art, the next great artist. One artist will emerge from the pack to take the grand prize, a solo show at the world-famous Brooklyn Museum, and $100,000 provided by Prismacolor Art Uninhibited. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. My name's Abdi Farah, I'm 22 years old. I live in like a small town called Dover, Pennsylvania. It's out there. So I'm so excited just to be in New York and have people looking at my art. Coming into this competition, our assignment was to create a self-portrait, my self-portrait. It's kind of me as this like space alien or space hero. I wanna see what the competition's like. I'm really hoping to win. I need this a lot. Wow. My name's Neo Bustamante. I am more known for my video art and performance works. All mediums can be used to express your idea. I know what you're thinking. Maybe Neo's a little too established for the show. It's okay, I'm a team player. And I'm a team captain. I feel like I've already won. And so I think that I could be really generous with my criticism. For me, being an artist is, you know, the best thing. I wake up at noon and then I'll get out my brushes and my paints and paint till five or six in the morning. Although I am broke most of the time, I live to create and I create to live. Ryan. Ryan, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, is this you? It, yeah, that's me too. Wow, <laughs> you got some skills, Ryan. Oh, thanks. I've always been really passionate about art. I worked as a studio assistant for Jeff Koons, and it was a really wonderful experience. So this is probably you. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> is that yours? Yeah, yeah. A lot of times, people assume that someone like me couldn't be an artist. And then I always surprise them with my work. I grew up in rural Minnesota with lots of woods and building forts and like making bows and arrows and everything. I take baths because I can get more things done while bathing. I'm going to begin eating my breakfast while preparing a sequential to-do list for the day, all while getting clean in the tub. The realization that I had obsessive compulsive disorder started in childhood where like I had to arrange the food on my plate in a certain way. Yeah, I've got these little neurotic quirks. It's nothing that's not manageable. This is a great way to meet everybody. So I went into architecture, practiced for a number of years, and then one day sort of thought, if I could do whatever I want to be doing right now, this minute, what would that be? And it was painting. Is this your actual birth certificate? It is. Sweet. For me, this is about my A game. It's about, I love you, but I have to beat you. <laughs> Wow, you look totally like Angelique Jolie in this. It's like I, I made it abstracted, reclining female form. This is the, just the legs? Two, two foots. A little arm. I'm making a leap here, but I'm going with it. Neo's really rude. She isn't really going to intimidate me. I did a Google self-portrait. But at least you're on Google, because I've Googled myself a hundred times, and I find a hockey player from Canada. <laughs> right now, I'm just in shock that I'm here. It just feels like a dream. Hi. What can you tell us about your work? This is the first time my art's been out of the house. I've never been to school. For somebody who's entirely self-taught, it's truly impressive. When I realized I got this opportunity, I cried. <laughs> ah, I just don't want to fall on my face. Please. Is your piece the one with the yellow one over there? Yeah, yeah. I love that one. Talking no, about Eric thanks. That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> and I know this is yours, Trong. Yeah. I think it's gorgeous. It I is. I love it. Oh my god. Trong is here. He's a curator, he's an artist who's really well known. My intention for it was that it would eventually disintegrate the image. We'll see who disappears first, me or the image. <laughs> hey, Peregrine. I know, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, right, to be able to pick people out from the yeah, yeah. some portraits. Okay. Uh -huh. Show us yours. I want to see yours. Oh, there it is. I, I think I kind of. My little baby. There it is. Hi, I'm Mark. Hi. Yeah, we guess which one was yours. Yeah, go figure. I don't like to take myself too seriously. There is some amazing art on the walls, but Eric's piece, that's what you make when you're like a cool, angsty guy, freshman year of college. This portrait is like whatever I was like thinking of at the time, back home. I'm in a warehouse studio, and I share it with 30 cockroaches, a black widow spider. So I thought this would give me the opportunity to show my work to a wider audience. John's work doesn't seem very well executed to me. That triangle painting, it's not so good. comes Simone de Pire, which is crazy because this guy is a really big deal. Welcome to the gallery and welcome to Work of Art, the next great artist. I'm China Chow and this is Simone de Pire, a leader in the international art world. Ever since I was a teenager, I was absolutely obsessed with art and I've never stopped following what was happening in the contemporary art scene ever since. I just wanted to speak to you about this Jeff Koons. I spent 16 years at Sotheby's as a chief auctioneer for the company and now I'm the chairman of Philips de Purian Company. My approach to art is purely physical. I normally know in the first split second if it's a great work or not. Hello everyone, I have never seen such a diverse group. Some of you are sculptors, some of you are painters, some of you are photographers. I believe one of you is even an architect. And I just want you to know, I'm going to be there for you to give you help, advice, and more than anything else, full moral support. Thank you. I'm your host, as well as a member of your judging panel. I love art, art is my passion. I was born into a family of collectors and I've had the privilege of knowing some of the greatest artists of our time and I can't wait to see what you guys create. It's also great that we have China Chow here. She grew up immersed in the art community around Andy Warhol, Jean-Michel Basquiat, and Julian Schnabel. That's incredible. We have 10 challenges in store for you that will test your talent to the limit. For the winner, $100,000. Provided by Prismacolor Art Uninhibited and your own solo show at the world-renowned Brooklyn Museum. A solo show at the Brooklyn Museum of Art. It would be pretty hard to get excited about anything else for a long, long time. Okay, it's time for your first challenge. Now that you've seen each other's self-portraits, each of you will create a portrait of one of your competitors. A successful portrait is one that shows the viewer the inner essence of the subject and not just their likeness. All of your self-portraits have been paired in a completely random way with one of your colleagues. Your task is to do the portrait of your colleague and vice versa, your colleague will do your portrait. <laughs> You have until midnight tonight and only a few hours tomorrow to complete your pieces. Tomorrow night, your work will be on display here in the gallery for an audience of New York art lovers and the judges. One of you will win this challenge and one of you will be going home. Good luck, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, now let's check out your workspace. blown away. They're art supplies from heaven. We will have now half an hour to get acquainted with your subject for the challenge. Thank you so much. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I have done work before where I use uh, cats. With the cat, I use the word pussy. Okay? And so it sort of buffers the idea that I'm talking about genitals. I was always an artist even in the hippie days. But it was these pussy pieces that put me on the map. For you, the one that came into my mind is proud pussy. Proud pussy. I find it a little bit offensive. I have no idea how she might get that from me upon first impression. You know, I, I think for me, I keep up certain barriers. I'm pretty open as a person. I'm, you know, I bear out all my dirty laundry. <laughs> I was born in Saigon, Vietnam, and my family came over as refugees. I have been in the New York art world for almost 10 years. 
I think versatility will play a large role in this competition. In your portrait, you use your silhouette. That's what I was kind of going to do for your portrait. Okay. Trong is like the ultimate cool as a cucumber hipster. I hope I can make a portrait worthy of his coolness. Um, I'm really into lilies, right? Lilies and hermaphrodites. Yeah. When I was 22, the Whitney Museum of American Art purchased my work for their permanent collection. And it was a mind-blowing moment for me. So can I draw you, like, in a state of undress? I grew up with a wood shop in my garage that my dad owns. I work with my hands a lot. So I've always been in between design and art, which I think makes me a little bit more unique. Like, I don't know if I could see your back, even if you don't take off your clothes. Yeah, yeah. I took Nicole's clothes off with my eyes because she's just a really beautiful young lady. So right away, I was struck by all of the jewelry that's kind of ornate. Yeah, yeah. And I am so excited to let you guys see a glimpse of the fantasy and make-believe that make up my life and work. However, I'm not just a ditzy, Christian blonde, Barbie wannabe person. I'm an artist. The artist I've been paired with is Miles. All right, Miles is off to, I don't know what. The half hour was a little bit frustrating. Miles was running around pulling out all his power tools and everything, so it wasn't as if we sat down and just kind of got to know each other. All right, I'm just gonna come up with my own ideas then. Yeah, I want to basically use my style, but captured your personality. Uh, Whatever you want. It might look dark, but it's, it'll be funny. I feel a little bit out of my league. I've been in the art world for about maybe six hours now. <laughs> I'm totally comfortable with making a complete jerk of myself, so that's fine. I'm from Santa Maria, California. Santa Maria is a hard town to find, you know, gallery and exposure through art. I spend a lot of time flipping burgers during the day, and then in the afternoon shooting scantily clad models in weird costumes. When you have an opportunity like this, you have to try and cash the lottery ticket and see how far it'll go. This is it, you know, this is the dare to be great situation. I hope you had a chance of getting acquainted with the subject of your first challenge. But now, I have a surprise for you. Uh-huh. Coming up on Work of Art. Oh, God, we don't know. There's going to be some kind of twist. Oh. Ah! I have a surprise for you. Uh-huh.